All right, welcome back to Sports Cards Mania. We have another HGA reveal. This is a seven card order. Uh, this was about six months ago, roughly, that we sent this off. I think it's about seven cards uh, in the order. We've got, uh, I think, mostly basketball and football primarily, uh, which is, of course, the usual for our channel. Uh, it's got uh, the cool Steph Curry uh, numbered rookie card at a 999. That's Carter, so excited to see uh, the, the slabs. And uh, I think this is our last order outside of a three card order with HGA that was for the horizontal slab. So we're anxious to get those that test run back of the three cards that we sent off to them. I think about December, January time frame. So we'll probably get to that order here shortly. Uh, we'll go ahead and dive into the reveal. Make sure to uh, pound that like button for us. Subscribe if you're new to our channel. Let's get into it. All right, so we've got the seven card reveal. We're gonna start off, I think, with uh, Carter's card in the in the order, which is the uh, the banger we had. Uh, got this at a card shop. Uh, you can see it's 155 out of 9.99, and uh, we already know the grades. We have not seen the labels, of course, yet. We we took them out of the sleeves, made sure to keep them face down. So we're gonna see these for the first time. Oh yeah, that is phenomenal. That is cool. I like there, they kind of did the little light blue to match the uh, draft picks there. Um, so we got an 8.5 as you can see, and uh, HGA uh, really got us on the corner, which uh, 7.5, which we knew was gonna drag this card down. Uh, in our preview video, uh, we did show that there was that little, you can see it right there, it's almost a little pulled back even bent a little bit. So. Uh, so definitely to get an 8.5, uh, you know, the, the subgrades uh, with HGA, you cannot score uh, one point over the lowest subgrade. So in this case, you have the 7.5, which is 8.5 as the max uh, overall grade. And you can see on the edge, it's got the 8, which we right there, um, we knew as well, and right there as well. Uh, but overall, just a, an awesome card to have in Carter's collection, the numbered uh, Steph Curry rookie card. So. We'll get that sleeved up. We'll throw it in the background there. And then uh, next one, uh, good timing as well on this one. I think I'm gonna throw this on auction and see how it does. Uh, we got the Jordan Poole Base Prism rookie card, got a nine. So I was hoping for a little bit better on this one. Uh, so probably not gonna have a ton of value. Uh, hopefully we can get 40 bucks out of it, we'll see. I haven't really priced these out yet to see kind of what they're going for, but a nice looking label. Got two nines and, and two 9.5s, so I guess if, if you want to call it a strong nine, that's a strong nine, because you get one more 9.5, that would have been a gem mint. So, uh, nice clean card. All right, we're gonna throw up the uh, curry there in the background. Uh, let's see what's next one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, so this is gonna be from 97 uh, Skybox, or Hoops, I guess you would. And we pull the nine on this one. So pretty similar to like the Slam Magazine, I guess this is uh, back in, in 97, I guess the version of Slam. Uh, so kind of a, an older one there, was expecting a nine on this one as well. So right on par for that one. And then we got an iconic uh, base tops, uh, Tim Duncan rookie there. And I did, I think this is the only one I chose to splash. So uh, happy with that, you know, just kind of the, the white and black uh, splash there, uh, which we got the gem mint and pulled up by the centering, which did get a 10. So uh, otherwise this one would have been a nine mint. So we had two nines on the corner and edges. 9.5 on the surface, but yeah, you can clearly see both front and back centering is uh, spot on 10. So, uh, awesome looking card there. All right, I think we'll go ahead and throw the, uh, our second display card is gonna be that Kobe. Really like that one. All right, so this is just another PC card, nothing monster here, but I think I had just gotten back another Derrick Rose on a, uh, uh, CSG order. So this is an HGA slab and uh, got the 9.5. Really sharp looking there. Uh, not the quad 9.5s you always hope for, but nonetheless, a uh, nice Fleer Derek Rose rookie card for the PC. All 
All right, so next, final two cards are gonna be just some numbered uh, Drew Brees stuff. Uh, and actually, it, so this is dual-sided. Uh, it's the passing, the tor torch, uh, 73 out of 400. Just really kind of gold foil uh, looking card here with fouts on the front. So this one got the nine mint. So pick this up on auction. I think uh, maybe five to ten dollars uh, paid raw for it. So just a PC card uh, with Drew Brees. Uh, this is another uh, numbered Drew Brees uh, at a 499 from. 2004 it looks like I think this is another gold uh, also got the nine yeah tops gold so just a sharp looking card there and uh, you can see again another neutral label um, you can see the four subgrades there accordingly uh, so I'd say obviously HGA and now BGS are probably kind of the final frontier uh, grading companies that are providing the subgrades so if, if that's kind of your uh, Forte, you know, and you like that feature, then you know, HGA and BGS are going to be your go to for that. You know, and this one, uh, I guess, is kind of a prime example that that, that uh, garnered maybe a higher overall grade than, than we would have scored otherwise at you know, an SGC or possibly a P PSA. Um, you know, because having one feature or kind of sub grade category could have pulled down the overall grade with another grading company. Uh, actually even lower so uh, so that it could be a reason why again you know having a, a company to send certain cards to such as HGA uh, you know for the subgrades that may score higher otherwise so uh, that does it for our seven card HGA reveal appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you on the next one